And the BAFTA for single documentary in honour of Robert Flaherty goes to... The Real Mo Farah. Oh my God, I don't even know what to say. Um, honestly, um, it's an honour to receive this because when I was doing the documentary, uh, I was in control of my career throughout many years, but I wasn't in control of what was going to outcome. And to, to have the guys like my family, my kids, Leo, and the BBC, everyone behind you and, and believe in you, um, it, it wasn't easy, but honestly, uh, without these guys, I would never have done it. And, and, and seeing my kids and my family, um, but honestly, I'm delighted to receive this. And, without the hard work of these guys and everyone who was behind it, it wouldn't happen. Um... <laughs> we thank you, BAFTA. We'd like to thank the other nominees, and we really need to thank the BBC and Red Bull Studios who got behind us. It was a very difficult film to make, and at times it looked like we wouldn't be able to make it, and both BBC and Red Bull were with us every second of the way, particularly BBC Docs, Emma Loach and Claire Sillery and Charlotte Moore, who was involved from the beginning, so thank you. Um, six million people watched this on BBC One and iPlayer. That's a film about trafficking. And uh, we were really proud that that many people came to this story. Um, but most of all, I want to thank Mo and his family for helping to humanize what's become a really vicious debate about asylum, immigration, and trafficking in this country. So really, thanks for that. We just want to say thanks for the, the support and the, the response that we got to the documentary. It was really hard to film, but what motivated us was our, was our kids, looking at our four children, especially Hussein. We named him after his dad, and no one really knew that. And for us to be able to show their, our kids what their dad had been through, it, it empowered us, and the response was amazing. So thank you so much for that. No. Thank, you. thank you, guys. Um, just want to say one last thing. Um, it's an honour to receive this, and I'm dedicating this to all the children right now who've been child trafficking. Um, and honestly, them choice, the kids have no say at all in terms of... They're just the kids, and I think no child should ever go through what I did. And I hope this will make changes, and, and I hope my story is to show they're not just alone. Um, we're in together.